Um, I think we're going to be really balanced. We're going to have the depth in every position that we sought out to recruit in the spring. And I'm, I'm very excited about this group. And I think the, the newcomers in combination with the returners is going to be a pretty dynamic situation for us. Um, our overall goals for the year are just to continue what we've built and try to get even better. I don't think anything's ever easy. It's not easy in this conference, not e definitely not easy in this region, and we still have the ultimate goal of trying to make it to the Elite Eight, and on any given year I think it's possible. We've, we have a tradition here of winning, but it's, it's not just because we want to win, it's because we do all the little things every single day to make sure that the, the, that the wins are earned. Um, I think Lindsay is just, a, she's a wonderful volleyball player. She's so competitive and last year was a really a breakout year for her. We knew her during her freshman year that she was going to be a standout for us for the long term, but last year she really showed us that she can put a team on, on her back. I really feel like going into this year uh, with the experience she has underneath her belt from last year, that she's gonna have an even better year. And I think she's, you know, we, we really did a good job with recruiting and making sure that we're loaded in every position. So I think she'll feel a little less pressure and always having to make the play when we need her to make the play because now we've got others that, that can help her as well. Um, Autumn had a wonderful year for us last year. She's just a unbelievable, young, talented, confident volleyball player. And, you know, we knew she was going to play a big role for us. I don't think anybody anticipated her playing as big of a role as she did for us last year. But I'm so excited about her sophomore year. We really worked hard with her in the spring to, you know, kind of polish her game in some different areas. And, and she's elevated herself to be a leader in the program, which I think is only going to help her out on the court. Well, some some of the successes last year, just one of the basic big things is that I got to play as a freshman and that's just a huge deal for someone that's going from high school to go into a new experience and go into a college setting with volleyball and that's a big deal and I'm looking forward to the um, accomplishments this year. I know I have a little bit more experience and that's exciting to like be able to have more mindset of what I need to look for and what I need to be able to do instead of just going in and being new, so that's exciting. Um, Haley Shackelford has been one of the most pleasant surprises for me. She was the player last year that everybody forgot about. She's not flashy, she's not an overly aggressive type of player, but she's just so consistent. Um, honestly, preseason now being two weeks is obviously um, a great opportunity for us. Um, it's gonna be really nice to have we have to get our setters used to other hitters, and I mean, all of our liberos are brand new, so we have to all combine ourselves and work really hard in the gym to get used to like playing next to other players, and then all the hitters gotta adjust to passing with other people and hitting and setting off of other people, so it's gonna be really hard, but I'm glad we have these two weeks um, of two-day practices, and that's what that's really for. Um, I think our newcomers are, they're just a great group of young women, and that was something we really, looked long and hard for. I'm confident with who we brought in. We brought in two defensive specialists to replace um, Anna Steckline, who was obviously a, a stellar Libro for us last year. So both Andrea and Colleen will be fighting it out to, to get into that jersey, which is always a, it's a big deal in our sport. I we're also replacing our setters going into this year. So um, I'm excited about Sierra and Casey. They both come in with a lot of experience at a very high level. You know, I'm not really sure if we're gonna go five, one, six, two, all that's yet to be determined, but I'm super pleased with, you know, the level of volleyball players that we brought in. Um, I think our coaching staff has every dynamic that a student athlete would want from their coaching staff. Thankfully, we got a full-time assistant position and I felt like it was a natural fit to hire Patchy and she's been around for so long, was an All-American in our program and just, I mean, she bleeds green and blue and it's so fun to be around her because she just loves the game, she loves our players and she's becoming a wonderful teacher to them in, in the gym and then also, um, you know, outside of the gym. Shauna Hicks is, she's actually a Division II former student athlete from Abilene Christian and she was an All-American there, led the nation in blocks per game. So she comes in with a ton of experience and, and then the last member of our coaching staff um, is Alana Gamwell and she has some international playing experience and she's got a, a long tradition in her family of graduating from West Florida. So I just love the fact that these three young women are going to be great role models for our players and they love to teach and they absolutely love the sport of volleyball. So I think our players are incredibly blessed to be able to 
have the four of us around them teaching them not only you know the the things you need to do to win on the court but the things you need to do to win in life